Dr. B, your ovary at TikTok doc here. Today, we're talking about cervical caps. A cervical cap is a small hat-shaped silicone device that is meant to cover your cervix to prevent sperm from entering your uterus where it can fertilize an egg. Cervical caps should always be used with spermicide because although they block the sperm from entering, something else needs to the sperm. If you want to learn how spermicide works, Dr. Lee Set posted a great video about this last week that you can watch. People often confuse cervical caps and diaphragms because they work similarly, but they're actually quite a different shape. The diaphragm is a little bit more effective, but the cervical cap can actually be left in for longer, up to two days. To use a cervical cap, you need to insert the spermicide into the cervical cap and then insert the cervical cap into your vagina and over your cervix. Um, please follow the instructions that come with the device. The cervical cap should be put into place prior to any fun time and left in place for at least six hours afterwards. The cervical cap is actually more effective if you've never given birth before. So in people who have never given birth, it's 86% effective. So 14 out of 100 people will get pregnant within one year. If you have given birth before, it's 71% effective. So 29 out of 100 people will get pregnant within one year. We always recommend stacking different non-hormonal methods. So for example, if you're using a barrier device like a cervical cap or a diaphragm, we suggest also using the pullout method um, and maybe even cycle tracking to increase the overall effectiveness. Please let us know if you have any questions and have a great day.